it's Melissa here and I'm back for the scrappery today and today I want to make a layout inspired by this piece of paper it's called radiant so it's got um, I like polka dots but they're not even um, on that side and this side has got these beautiful paint um, stripes and what I'm envisioning is this collection has a lot of flowers so I want to have stripes with flowers on and when I look at this, there's too many stripes. I want them um, wider apart and not as many. So I thought I'd recreate or use this as inspiration for some watercoloring on this. And we'll take it from there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get started. So the first thing I wanted to do was replicate those stripes. And like I said, I needed to make them wider and have less of them. And that would enable me to place the flowers. If I place the flowers on that paper I already had, then there just wasn't enough room they were just the stripes were too close together so I'm just using my close to my heart watercolors and mixing my uh, main colors mostly with either some white to lighten them or a little bit of gray to darken them and I did have that um, that striped paper next to me so I could match my colors because I knew that because these um, kits are based on one collection that these colors would match everything else in the kit so sped this up because it's not um, that exciting. It's still good to watch though, I think. Um, I didn't overthink it. I probably overthought the colours, but I didn't um, overthink anything else. I was just checking the other orange shade to make sure it was going to match. And um, I either mix on the palette itself or on the little mixing trays above. So I did go back and make sure the two yellows were the same and then probably with the blue as well. So as it turned out, I only had one stripe of pink. And if I'd done this again, I'd probably make sure there was more than one pink because pink was probably the most um, popular color in all the embellishments. So then I wanted to add some um, splatters. I didn't want to do watercolor because I knew it would splatter everywhere. So that is a Mr. Huey's from Studio Calico, but all the others are Kazercraft mists from past color kits that we've had through the scrappery. So I think, yeah, I think the pink as well. So that's what I'm doing there. And I was a bit concerned because um, it was going everywhere, but it didn't matter. So here I'm going through the ephemera pack and just wanting to color sort everything and um, pull out those main colors. So everything I'm not wanting, I'm putting on the right side there. And just putting my blues, yellows, oranges, pinks. I think that's the only colors I have. Yellows. And there's some butterflies as well and some feathers. I don't think I use the feathers. And so that's, that's what I'm doing. And then I pulled out that frame. That frame is the same as the B side of that paper. And so um, now I've also got these. Um, sorry, I'm a bit distracted because my kids are in here. They're not meant to be in here. Um, these vellum butterflies, leaves, and flowers. And I am sticking them in um, piles. Sorry. <laughs> um, so here's the chipboard. And I'm going through there as well and pulling out some colors that I wanted. So. The next thing I wanted to do was get the stencil that came in the color kit and um, Brielle just kissed my hand, which was lovely, and uh, some molding paste or texture paste. Now when this dries, it doesn't dry white, and if I'd known that, I would have added some white acrylic paint to it to make sure that it um, was white, but at this point, I did think it was, it was white, so I carried on. And I love how this adds some subtle texture. It doesn't look bad in the end, but um, it definitely adds some subtle texture to my page. And it also, I think it helps break up the horizontal lines as well. So just, um, I sped this bit up as well because I wanted you to see the whole thing. Just getting it onto the page. Sorry about that. Um, my kids come in and they write notes on a piece of paper to ask me questions. And then I can't answer them because I'm trying to do this voiceover, but they uh, want me to answer still, so I just paused it for a sec. So um, I changed what photo I was going to use. Um, if you're wondering why there's thread on the top of that photo, it's because I just had to test my sewing machine on a bit of the scrap. So I decided to go with this photo of Azaria. The other one was her as well from when she was, um, I think, four. But in this one, this is just taken this summer actually, so... 
um, it's just her at our local lake at our favorite beach there's a tire swing not a tire swing a swing and she um, was just sitting on the swing I took a photo so I love that photo because it goes really well I think with the tones of this layout which is soft and pretty so here I'm just laying everything out in the colors and I'm trying to think whether I show you I think I do show you the whole of this sped up of course but um, don't worry I won't show you all of the gluing down because that really isn't exciting at all so I did think about adding feathers and I did um, place them but in the end I take them off I've got that flare badge which is blue um, some words and bits of ephemera so yeah you can see this was my in whole intention with this layout was to color match the mostly florals and some butterflies and leaves well leaves are part of florals but yeah just color match as I went so um, I'm glad I knew where I wanted that photo to go and that I put it down I haven't glued it but I didn't want to waste anything and so yeah a good piece of advice is to place the photo where you want it or you could use pencil just to outline so here I am starting to glue now these vellum pieces I found I could use my glue behind them just a little dot most of them I think all of them except maybe a couple of butterflies are tucked in behind other pieces and then I used some of my dimensionals just to pop up some of the um, cardstock ephemera so I didn't pop up all of the cardstock ephemera some I glued I think some I glued uh, part of it and popped up the other half and um, then I decided I need to put my frame onto some foam just because it was um, too flat otherwise. I liked adding dimension to my pages. And I went with double sided tape to glue both sides of the foam. I find that's actually better. You can use glue but if you're in a hurry like me you want, instant, want it instantly to be glued. So that's a little um, word of happiness from the ephemera pack. And that little um, banner says love this I think and so I love how that looks I think I added um, dimensional adhesive behind the bottom of that as well and um, I don't worry I won't show you all of this so it's coming together then I needed I think what color was it orange I needed another piece of orange so I just cut uh, flower fussy cut out of that paper originally I thought I was going to have to cut a lot more out of there but um, I could cut another one but it never made the page so it's still gluing and you can see what I meant about that texture paste not being white but I think it still looks okay so I was looking at the chipboard to see if there was anything else um, that okay maybe it was a blue flower anyway the blue flower made it on the orange one didn't um, some of these little pieces have tiny little bits of um, like perforation and I just cut them off so that's what I was doing there sticking that little beautiful word down on the blue I'm wanting to balance my words out so that they're not all on one side or they're not all underneath each other and then what am I doing now okay so I decided it needed some softening and I love these doilies this doily came from another scrappery kit that I had left over so I've just grabbed it and um, adhered it with double sided tape again and I did add some liquid adhesive as well just because that texture paste is quite um, hard dries really hard and solid hard and solid what I mean is it dries solid and it's textured so it's not flat to the page so it needed I think a little bit more now here I've got the, t the sequins out of the one of the um, pretty little pieces kits I really should just tip all of them into one so I can go through them and these are the grey chipboard words I had a really hard time with this I didn't show you all of it but um, quite difficult to get out of the packaging so I thought cherish was the best one because first of all I cherish her but also um, I didn't want to have two uh, a title that was two words because it wasn't enough room so I didn't really think about that when I started the page but I'm glad that it worked out because I didn't have enough yellow ephemera or flowers or anything so I think that putting the title there filled in a gap so I'm adding my journaling and then I'm putting the location and later on I'll put the date of where we were 
and when we were there and then I saw this little blue favorite tab and if you know me you know I don't like to use them all the time but I thought it went quite well at the top there and so um, my final touch is that butterfly and then I have some close-ups so thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again soon